Hey buds, uh, it's June, um, here we go, and I, I don't know, I wanted to, like, talk to you, um, spend some time with you, um, and kind of get out of my creative rut a little bit, so I decided, spur of the moment, literally today, to do my best to be filming um, really short daily videos, kind of like um, a month in my bullet journal with some snippets of my life. Uh, and yeah, that, that's the reason for this. Um, and I kind of also wanted to talk about like migrating to the month of June um, because I had a lot of changes here. Um, it's been the end of May, um, and I guess my, like, goals and things have changed quite a bit over the month. Um, not even talking about <laughs> what's going on in the world, because I feel like right now I don't even have the right mindset to give voice to like what I'm thinking and feeling and everything um yeah uh for this month I wanted to do all of these projects um but I kind of quickly discovered that the way that I was approaching my um writing goals was just not really going to work because for me a lot of these problems were problems kind of in context as I was rereading my manuscript. Um, I finished third draft and it became apparent to me that I needed to instead of like rewriting these a chunk at a time do all the pre-writing first and then go through the draft chronologically and work through it that way. Um, which overall I think will be a faster, more effective approach, but it is a little frustrating that I can't like dig into it yet. Um, yeah, I guess I could give you a quick June flip through. I don't see why not. Um, if you were watching my June video or other videos, you know, that I finished, um, the Adventure Zone this month in May, and this part <laughs> made me cry. Or not the Adventure Zone, the Adventure Zone Balance. That made me cry. I love the Voidfish storyline and everything about it. It's so sweet. Um, that was kind of a fun bit that I added in. Um, one of my Etsy orders got returned and it got returned with this like super cool yellow label on it that was in like English and French from Canada. Um, and I resent it out, but I was like, that would be a cool sticker. And lo and behold, it was. <sighs> kind of a lot of like anxiety um, mantras that I've been, you know, dealing with. Uh, that was when I filmed my June Plan With Me video because I was in kind of a rush to get it up on Friday. Saturday, I guess. I just didn't even journal. Probably had something to do with how much I did on Friday. Um, yeah. This was from uh, Nicole Josephine. Um, that's my new tea house stickers um i was super happy with them but right now i'm a little like mm, because it seems like the print resolution isn't coming out very good so i think i'm gonna go back onto procreate and play around with them a little bit um and like try to re-release them in higher definition or something i i'm not sure what's wrong here but there's something off um, and this is a uh, printable from Journal with Ray, her like adventure awaits one, super fun. Um, uh, yeah, this was just the past couple of days. 
um, just a lot of like things going on that I just, ugh, I don't even, I don't even know. Um, I'm still like trying to figure out what it is that I can do right now um, to kind of like help, but you know, but whatever, I, I'm not ready to like talk about it yet and figure out what I'm going to say. Um, and then June, um, I wound up with an extra page at the end of May, and since it's opposite my June spread, I'm just going to journal here, because why not? It looks like June, so therefore it is June. Um, and I don't know, I've never really talked about this in real time, but I guess I can go ahead and give that a try. Uh... Let's see, I'm not sure if I want to use my Tombow to draw the title. I think I do. Um, it's Monday. I need to go downstairs in a second, so this is going to be a pretty quick little setup. But I might film some other stuff to go with this, maybe some writing, I don't know. this doesn't smear, I guess. Um, this is kind of how I do my um, headers lately um with the number and then the month over the year just to kind of like make it all its own little like structured block oops i have my um phone on kind of a funky spot right now these i used over here so i feel like they'll match good but I don't know well let's see I'll do some like little little excitement guys is I guess what I call them in my head it's kind of like it has ears I, I don't know um, and then today, what I want to do, well, it's already like the afternoon because I just randomly decided to make this video off the spur of the moment because I wanted to, whatever, show some process, I guess. Um, I'm going to well, I watch, maybe I'll just write what I did. I always feel like my journaling um, isn't really complete if I don't write anything about the day because otherwise there's nothing that I can go back to to like remember it by. Um, so even if I'm not journaling as much as I used to, just like long form, um, it I feel like it's good if I can at least jot something down. And then three o'clock. 
him um, be on with Eli so that my mom can get some writing done. Um, and then later I need to write in in my um, nannying dates so that those don't get lost to the abyss of already read text. Um, I don't have these nailed down yet because I um, nanny for an ice skating coach and we're not sure like how the rink is going to reopen or what that's going to look like yet so it's a little up in the air. Um, and then restock the colorful fountain pens. Because um, those were super fun and somebody cleaned me out of like six in one go so and I, I don't stock huge amounts because I don't sell that fast so that was kind of a surprise so I need to restock those later today I thought they were but then I realized that I listed the black and white and the colorful ones in the same um, listing which I don't usually do but I was really tired when I was making the listing so I just went ahead and did it so it looked like there were some but they actually weren't because they were actually just the black and white versions um and then read some of my emotional craft of fiction book and do some more of my pre-writing to prepare for my draft And a subtask. Slides, thoughts. Um, the book I'm talking about there, by the way, I actually have somewhat accessible. Um, it is a bookmark. Okay, whatever. Um, this is The Emotional Art of Fiction by Donald Mass, Moss, I've heard it both ways. Um, and this is like my absolute favorite writing craft book. Um, it just like totally nails the things that are important to me about fiction and it always like manages to jog something in my head. So. Right now as I pre-write, um, before I like address any of the individual tasks, I've been reading this and um, like just letting it take me where it does because it just has so many good ideas in it. Um, and then if I don't address all the issues as I go through the book, then I will have um, something to work on at the end too but so far I'm addressing a lot of stuff so I want to at least get like one of the exercises done today um whatever comes up as I'm reading but I want to make sure I get something on the page to keep that muscle active um and this looks pretty good for today um I guess I might Let's see, I might revisit it later tonight or tomorrow morning and I can like tell you kind of what updates I have made, if any. Um, and 
I guess that's gonna be that. Um, and hopefully I will be back with you tomorrow with, whoops, sorry about that there, with day two of June. Um, thanks for clicking on this if you did. I'm trying something new and I hope that it is um, beneficial or helpful. I guess for me, daily journaling has always kind of been the crux of my practice and like what I get out of bullet journaling and I'm excited to like share this with you guys versus just monthly setups. Um, let me know if you liked it, if there's anything you'd be interested in seeing that I could like improve upon for this hopefully what's going to be a series here and I will talk to you later. Bye! <laughs>